You get to Wednesday, you're like, Jesus. You get to Thursday, Jesus. And you get to Friday, and you're like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And that's been the kind of week that I've had. And when I say that I thank God for the revival, I thank God that I, I, I remember Friday services. And you would barely make it through the week, but you could get to Friday night. And you could be renewed. And you could be revived. And you could give your troubles to God. And he would take care of everything. And you know, every hour of every day this week, there has been chaos Distractions and I call it intentional mayhem, like chaos. Folks just don't have nothing better to do but cause trouble. What are we doing for the semana? Cause trouble every hour of every day of this week. I'm not even making this up. And I said, you know, so I've, I've had this scripture on my heart for two weeks, and I thank God for Bible study uh, uh, two weeks ago and Evangelist Cuffey. Psalms 51. In Psalms 51, it says, Create in me a clean heart and renew in me the right spirit. And I just kept thinking about that and thinking about that and thinking about that. And, you know, I've had this, this, these moments where I'm like, you know what? They don't have to act like that. They don't know who they're talking to. They don't know who they're messing with. All right, God. But every hour of every day for this week, I've said, Create in me a clean heart. Renewing me the right spirit, not the wrong spirit, the right spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So I'm just so grateful to be on the other side of this week with a, 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 a clean heart. Thank you, God. With the right spirit. Thank you, God. And I don't know about you, whatever you've got going on in your life, whatever it might, might be, you can, you can think of Psalms 50 and think about how you want your heart to be. You don't want malice to be in your heart. You don't want unforgiveness to be in your heart. And I just thank God for that. And as I was standing there listening to Elder Thad pray, uh, and, and, and I had my eyes closed, and, and God said, do you trust me? And I said, yes, God, I trust you. And he said, do you trust me? Yes, God, I trust you. Because I know you can handle it. I know you can help me go through whatever I need to go through. And so on tonight, just trust God. Tell God yes. Give your all to God. Have him create in you a clean heart and renew in you the right spirit. Uh, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 We serve an uh, awesome God. Hallelujah. He's wonderful. He's mighty. He's matchless. Hallelujah. He deserves our praise. He deserves our honor. He deserves everything that we can give him. Hallelujah. I give honor to God who's the head of my life and to the son Jesus and to my pastor and to all of the elders and ministers and all of the assistant pastors, the mothers. I just came just to give you a brief word of encouragement, and it's coming from Philippians, uh, the third chapter, and it says, Brethren, I count myself not to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things are that which are behind. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling which is, in, is, which is in Christ Jesus. And so we may have some things that we're facing in our lives. The storms may be rolling. Things may be coming to coming up against you to try to distract you and keep you from reaching the goal. But our pastor, our shepherd has declared that ain't no stopping us now. We know that we have to move forward. No matter what the enemy throw at us, no matter what if the kitchen sink is falling out, I had to face two days, hallelujah, without power. But I determined in my mind that I was going to get to church. I was going to come and see what God had for me. I declare and decree that in this year, if you commit to God, 